do conservative scenarios with higher rates and do realistic scenarios, but don't do optimistic scenarios. I think it's not fit anymore because rates will probably continue to increase. Hi everyone, here's Christian Pomerlo and Alexandre Bovard, your more, uh, commercial mortgage broker. Today, we're going to talk in this video about uh, the update on interest rates. So it moves a lot uh, lately and it's still moving a lot. So uh, Christian, what happened and what happening right now with the interest rates? Yeah, there's actually the, the reason why we wanted to do this little video show is that uh, rates just jumped in the last uh, three months yep. enormously and today we're i want to talk about two things the first thing is the cmhc rate and the conventional rate and also especially the qualifying rates that you as a mortgage specialist use well you and me uh, that we use to qualify uh, a good uh, loan you know yep. so we need to have a, a, a it's kind of a stress test yeah, exactly. and that's we're going to talk about that but first i'll take just a little 30 seconds to tell you how uh, the rates are built a rate the way it's built for cmhc for example is they use the cost of funds which normally for multi-res is going to be the uh, the cmb the canadian mortgage bonds on top of that the bank has it spread to pay its things and it hedges also the amount. Uh, it's a little uh, like a uh, protection margin that yeah, they the, have. The hedge cost. The hedge cost. And on this, you and I, what we do, put a little buffer just in case rates go up. And uh, these days we have to really uh, think about it a lot because the buffers have to be much bigger. And uh, conventional, it's about the same thing. It's cost of funds plus the spread. But there's a little difference that very often they're going to add a risk premium which is could be a little addition sometimes a subtraction if there's a very very good uh, client and this was premium correct me if i'm wrong but it could be based uh on the location on the building itself on the uh the borrowers uh can be many 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 different aspects absolutely yeah exactly the best the you know when we find like great clients which have uh, strong portfolios a lot of liquidities yeah. and all this uh, this makes a strong file and the, the the bank sees it in a very good eye so they could reduce the uh, the premium on the risk or not put any at all or even sometimes subtract from their own spread if the 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 building also is good and the volume is high enough you know? if, if, if every aspect correspond to what they, they want exactly and, uh, that's how they do it exactly right now we're going to talk about cmhc rents uh, rates but especially the cmb canadian mortgage bonds and yep. how they evolved in the last uh two years and i'll start with the 4th of january 2021 on that date the uh, cmb was at 0 0.73 percent percent yeah Great. and um and this is what i said it, it was the basis to structure the uh the the rate now this cmb in one year the 4th of january of this year so 2022 it had risen by about one percent or what we call a hundred points one percent yeah. so in a in a span of one year the cmb increased of one point yeah a, a little bit more than one point exactly so one percent yeah but what That's we're fine. living right now alexander is something special because from January uh, 4th of this year, this year to the 29th of March, yep. uh, which is a couple of days ago, it went 110 points extra. So 1.1% extra in three months. In three months, yeah. And, so, that, and that's uh, in, in the meantime of the, uh, the increase by the uh, Bank of Canada. Am I right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. In the first period, which I described, there's absolutely no increase of, from the Bank of Canada, but lately a little increase in Bank of Canada of 25 points. But still, we took up about 110 points. It makes a big impact. You were talking about one yeah. of your uh, $2 million files. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. the, the, the impact that we saw, uh, we, uh, we had a deal for about a little more than $2 million, uh, which was a multi-res property uh we we started uh qualifying and or uh, 
let's say uh, investigating that deal at the end of December and uh, the beginning of January of this year, so 2022, uh, qualifying rates were about 2.35, 2.55 uh, that we were dealing with. But right now, as of today, uh, in uh, at the end of March, uh, beginning of April, we are at uh, a percent more. So it's about 3.25, 3.55. Wow. Yeah. So uh, that's a lot. And what that will, that, what that that does, it's that it's uh, it lowers your uh, your loan amount. So if you're uh, you're refinancing your property, that means that you have a lower equity takeout. Exactly. To, to, to reinvest in uh, another uh, another property. deal, another property. And if you're uh, you're buying a property, that means that your uh, your uh, cash down your cash down will increase. Yeah, and we see that a lot these days. Actually, that's the example I have. Yeah. Um, where we had a, a twenty unit uh, that we were studying, and the net revenues were a hundred five thousand of net revenues, and we put this deal on forty years amortization. And uh, in, in January, this deal, uh, we had a loan of 2,080,000. Uh, so 2,080 so 80 in January. And now we're three months later, and that same deal is now uh, at a level of loan of 1.8. Just because so, of the qualifying rate. Uh, yeah, qualifying rate changed. So we kind of lost 280,000 of a loan. Or, or like you said, if it was something someone that would buy, he would have to bring two hundred eighty thousand dollars more. On the table. Yeah. Yep. So, so what do we do uh, with all this? Because it's not all bad news, okay? It's just I think what's going to happen is that the investor change a little bit. The type of investor are going to change a little bit. But what I, what we suggest as brokers is that you do very strong stress tests in your. Uh, pro formas and your crunchers and do conservative scenarios with higher rates and do realistic scenarios but don't do optimistic scenarios I think it's not fit anymore because rates will probably continue to increase so be optimistic as yeah. a person in life but don't do too much optimistic and too much creative creativity I think it's good creativity but right now lenders are doing a lot of uh, uh, cherry picking. Cherry picking, yeah. yeah. Their, their dual diligence are way uh, more uh, exhaustive. And uh, we will talk about it in another, uh, another video, but uh, the market right now with lenders is that, yeah, we, they are still open to a little creativity, but there's more hard cash to bring. And they will, uh, like uh, Christian said, they are more cherry picking on every file. They are more uh, diligent and they, they choose what they want. Exactly. Totally. So I would say more than ever, you have to have an experienced uh, mortgage broker that works with you. It's so important because it's the preparation of the files and there's uh, the more and more uh, required documents. It's incredible. Uh, we have to know how to present the file with its force, with its strength and weaknesses, and how to justify uh, every little uh, detail or amount and recommend recommendation. And also knowing who to yeah. send the file to, but, you know. Which is the right lender for that deal. Exactly. You can, you can have two different, uh, you, can, you can have the same building, but with two different borrowers. And uh, this one will present to lender A, and this one will present to lender B. Why? Because all of uh, the, the, the total aspect of the, the, of the deal, of the, the investment, the file. Exactly. So negotiating everything, you know, the, the rates, the conditions and all the follow ups. That's what we do. That's what we're here for. So don't hesitate to give us a call if you want or uh, email us. Uh, my email is christian.pomerlo at pmml.ca and Alexander is alexander.boisvert at pmml.ca and we'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you very much.